What do you think about Donald Trump doing a 9-11 fight at Hard Rock Hotel and Casino That's between Holy Phil? It's very real. I feel like this is the depths of the, the universe that I try not to be aware of. Wow, it's the most anticipated heavyweight fight of the year, though. Really? Why? Why do we like to watch... Old fighters fight each other? Yeah, why do we like that? Can it, someone explain that to me? Commentary from the previous president. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wait, an IRL witch... Twitter. Wait, what is this? An IRL witch transforms you? I'm Spencer Pratt. I don't... You know I me can't from winning this Snapchatter of the year. Or maybe you remember me from the hills. And you probably hated on one of his... Oh my god, this is so good. Thank you, Thamasius. Is this the one I, I hated myself also. Yes. No! This whole I became a monster. <laughs> you guys are so I set out on a new journey to find no. love, to heal my Isn't mind. Isn't Spencer Pratt dope, though? He's like, uh, I think he's I... friends with like Jack and, and uh, Jack Wagner and, and uh, oh my god, my brain has stopped. It just the fucking... He's friends with some uh, people that I'm friends with, I thought. Isn't he, isn't he cool? He's is he himself, not? and that's why it's cool. Okay. In body and spirit. And now I want to share these life lessons. Spencer Pratt will hear Brandon Wardell is what I was thinking. Of. I can't believe I forgot Brandon. Like, Today I'm hanging out with my homie Sarah want... McDaniel, aka Crotchy. <laughs> Sarah is there. a mop. You look really good though. I mean, at least like, even in fucking what is are those jorts, please, dude? Can we please? No, is that a, is that a jerk? A jerk? Listen, when you're a model, you don't get to pick what you look like. Well, you're just a hanger. So these are not, this isn't like me on a normal Saturday. You this know? is literally her on a normal Saturday. She's lying, Chad. She like actually was wearing this and I was like, what What the fuck are you wearing? And she changed her outfit to this. She's lying to you right now. Let me go came back in, to... She came in the jorts the before she warmer. Was, yeah. Okay. Model. Sarah is a YouTuber. She's a stop motion video producer. Trust me, I've done some fucking cringe ass shit too. Okay? I want to see something cringe of you. All right, so we'll look I... at that in a second. After. Sarah is also known to be a conspiracy theorist. Put in simplest form, the delete button for the entire universe based off the physics we know right now, which also could be false. She suffers. From what? <laughs> what the fuck is that, dude? Wait, hold on. Wait, that's taken from. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You don't even have the whole video. The it's amount of power of that context. hot girls have is insane. Because, like, she just said this, and I was like, wait a minute, what? I didn't know about this delete button. That's crazy. It's based off an article, okay? It's, that was when she, taken when out she of said context. that. When she said that, I was like, wow, that's, uh, I, I believe, I'm inclined to believe you now. <laughs> How do you feel? You have, like, with great power comes great responsibility. But if you heard everything that came before that, it is based completely off of science what i was talking about the they universe based on the physics we know right now which also could be false so you she think there's a delete button on the universe <sighs> someone should find the full video i'm sure you guys can find okay it. if you find the full video we'll watch it he suffers from both pain and anxiety so it's time for me to really work my magic we're gonna pay a visit to a witch <laughs> a real life witch with spells and potions and magic. Yeah, this is the cringiest hey, thing I've ever Sarah. done. How are you? I am hey, a little nervous for today. How are you feeling? Are you ready for this? I'm really excited. I love just venturing into a bunch of weird. I think stop. everyone has a We're little. We're gonna watch something really, you really cringy. Yeah. Also, I mean, I'm mostly into astrophysics and things like that, so I think kind of ties into it. She's into the stars, obviously. So, have you ever met a witch? Not knowingly. I think they definitely know people that have witchy vibes to them. Bitches. Stop. <laughs> I, I thought we were talking about people in Hollywood. Well, I am very confident that this witch is exactly what you needed to heal your anxiety and your back pains. Are you Let's ready? Yeah. yeah. You went to a witch for your back pain? My name is Maja Dao and I'm a practicing- To be fair, like, you know, one, that's what happens when we don't have fucking adequate health care. Holy shit. Hashtag Medicare for all. Uh, and also two, uh, you know, back pain is so fucked up that like, you know, you will, you will literally go to, I, I would do dark magic. It I actually, did cupping. It actually got com all the way better when I got my flexibility on point. When I started doing yoga every day, it went away. Okay. So give it a try. Yeah, I, I do. I do. You do, do yoga? yoga. Okay. I'm a fucking legend at cat cows. Okay. I'm the cat cow freak. Yeah. Cat cow, thread the needle. I'm fucking threading that needle. Wow. And I'm doing cats and I'm doing cows. <laughs> I don't know the other stuff that I do. I don't know what they're called. But That's I'm doing it. a Those bunch of yoga. Those are the only moves you do? No, I, I do a lot of yoga. Okay. I, I do a lot of yoga stuff. I, I, I'm a fan. Yeah, show us. 
Okay, maybe later. Okay. Witch, I work with nature, healing of the mind, body, and spirit. Hi. She's a little scary looking. Are you friends with her? No. Oh, you said that like sad. Like you're like this you want to be friends. This was a one day shoot that um was you know was a money move. It wasn't something that I was completely invested in. Have you ever done acro yoga? I have. Yeah. You did? Yeah, boxers do that. It's actually really nice to relieve the pressure off your spine. Damn, dude. You never done it? No. It, I've never had someone. It, you should try it. I, I, like, how are you gonna hold me up if we do acro yoga? You'd be yoga? surprised. I've You're seen, gonna, you could hold my fucking 260 pound ass up. I'll try it because I've seen if you if you move the weight in the right way, you can. I've seen small five foot one dudes lift six foot tall people. Okay, I we. I, or I, I might just fuck my back up again. Yeah, I feel. But like, we should try it. I feel like if we did acro yoga, you would fuck my back up and your own back up as well. That's you would likely. fuck both of our backs up. That's likely. With one move we should do it hi guys hello i'm a little nervous i'm Can just least, never like, sat down with do may i say which is that I'm politically watch the whole why because this is p actually painful for me to watch wait well i'm gonna watch something so fucking cringe that you will understand why okay we're doing this like all right this is something i've never watched on stream before and this is the first time <sighs> ever i'm gonna all watch right. it for the first time ever on stream because you're here fuck they're spiritually correct. It's all of those things. Witches have a negative connotation. Bad word, yeah. yeah. I think they're always spread kind I of as do evil. Believe in Mostly by people who don't like know herbal, that they witches. themselves are evil. Judging a person that doesn't is evil is satanic. I mean, it doesn't so what involve do we have? magic. Or so woo -woo today for you guys, we have a couple of things. First, I would like to give you a plans. clearing. Then we're going to have a potion. And then we can also do some transformation using a technique of creating a golem we'll of yourself. Right. Did you guys come with any specific issues that you'd like to deal with today? I deal a lot with anxiety with mm -hmm. uh, pretty much everything in my life. I'm just a very anxious person and my lower back Back on my right side, I have a kind of a sharp pain from lifting weights. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the things I would like to focus on. My concern today is really only Sarah's healing. I'm just a facilitator. You're cute. Uh, let's, let's get into it yeah. here. Let's right. heal Sarah. Let's get started with the clearing based on Qigong, the Chinese technique. And I will place my hands on your back while I listen to the music. The music helps me feel the feelings. And then briefly, it'll just give you like a little zhuzh, like taking a shower. Can you guys hold hands with each other? Deep breath in. The clearings, they're based on martial arts techniques where I move the energy in my body. And I could definitely feel the electromagnetic it's electric. energy from your fingers. <laughs> if I do it for like five hours, I can literally set off car alarms when I walk by. A lot of times people who smoke weed will feel it. She points at me for anger. I ride my anger, people. I ride it like a wave. Are you guys <laughs> That's in a dandelion. I like it. Yeah, let me see. Finish what it What do all. you guys oh, think you. of I'm gonna right after you. Is there you anyone here that me? believes in yeah, holistic healing? the most lit AF dreams. Watch out, haters. I may put a spell on you. The practice of making a little self of yourself goes back a long way. It's called an effigy, like voodoo dolls. You can do it however you like. I've only heard <laughs> negative things with voodoo dolls. Hopefully it doesn't come back and bite me in the ass. <laughs> I'm Should we do a puppy cam? I'm a really big head. I don't have Spencer a has a very powerful golem which radiates solar energy. And for him, if he can use his power for himself, he'll find that he'll be able to radiate state protection. Wait, let me this use... is holy water from Padre Pio. We're just going to give you guys a little spritz. What was that that just got in my eye? <laughs> holy water. Oh. And then this is from Saint Benedict, and he has a key. So we're just gonna give you guys a little. Right in the head. Because it leaves an impression. And then we're gonna concentrate on what would you guys like to transform, place it in the belly of your little guy. And now I'd like you guys to concentrate on that same thing and draw a shape. Seems kind of odd that uh, we magically got the 712. How'd that happen, while <laughs> I was peeing? Isn't that did crazy? We, did we fast forward? It's almost as if time and the passage of time isn't even real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that Did that happen? Did, did time pass quickly? I want to see what else is going on here. I, I personally, I just drink water. Don't you have a tea too? You're, you're like, I've seen a you tea? drink. A tea? I wish you... 
A tea? <laughs> Whatever you were drinking the other day. Elixir? You were drinking an elixir? Elixir what is tea? It, what does it do? What are the properties? It's just olive leaf. You should have brought some so I could try it. I know. It's actually really delicious. Let's see. <laughs> what an What's angel. The potion I'm making today is a concoction of reishi mushroom, several other funguses. We have good anxiety <laughs> herb, which is astragalus. She we have reishi <laughs> mushrooms. It goes into your body and finds out what's wrong. And then Did just you, you went back to four We're going to smoke this up? No, or? we're going to make a little Do you enjoy tea. this? Ah. Yes. <laughs> Mugwort. You guys will have crazy dreams tonight. This nice. one's really good for lucid dreaming. Go. And then we have dandelion root, which is really good for anger clearing. Ah, she points at me for anger. I run. I ride my anger, people. I ride it like a wave. Are you guys ready for some potion? It works best if you have hot water, or you can even use alcohol. Oh. It's a good way to make your booze into medicine. I would argue that my booze already is medicine. Alcohol is medicine. <laughs> to, to life. life. I told a friend of mine that I was coming here, and she was like, oh, yeah, I always see him on Raya. Damn. <laughs> that implies that she is not matched with me. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Why has she not matched with Ask your friend right now. Why have you not matched with him? He's asking. All right. I'll take my answer off the broadcast. Don't blast me. Okay, this stuff is crazy, dude. What the fuck? Um, oh, okay, here, here, here. We're going to watch this instead. What is it? So this is something I did with Shen Magazine. Have you ever shot with them? Have you ever shot you? with you? This yeah. is you? Have you ever, yeah, I'm going to show you something cringe of mine. Oh, God. One Thank for God. one, dude. Jesus. One for one. One for one. Okay. Now, this has never happened on this broadcast. I think I have shot with Sean. Have you ever shot with Ben Cope? I don't think so. No. Hey, he's like a, he's like a cool uh, photographer. And this was impromptu, okay? It was very cringe. And, uh, of course, it's top of the hour, so I'm going to run a 60-second ad break right now. And if you'd like to... No, oh, my God. 2,000 dislikes. What the fuck? Damn. Okay, uh, 2,000 dislikes. But if you want to watch this video, it's one minute long, and I'm going to run a one minute ad right now. You need to subscribe for $5, or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. You can also use an ad block or a VPN, but Twitch Prime is free if you have an Amazon Prime. You know, steal it from your wife's boyfriend, whoever. Here's the one minute ad break now. Those are from the past two weeks, by the way. Wait, really? Dude, I don't know why you keep fucking posting this. It's not even that cringe. You're what? such a fucking idiot. There's just, like, another video that I did in, like, 2013. And this is this fucking... a modeling? Yeah, this okay. is way more cringe. And this dumbass is, like, fucking constantly fucking posting it, like, thinking <laughs> I'm, like, hiding it or something. Stop. Okay. <laughs> you sound... You sound, you sound like you I'm sound hiding it? a little bit. No, I, I mean, I'm literally... You sound triggered. Because it, it, it's annoying whenever people fucking think that they're like ban him. I did. I already banned him. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's go to Sean. Let's let's Sean it. Okay. Here we go. I'm here to talk to you today about music, art, fashion. One of the greatest problems that our generations are facing. The biggest scourge, scourge that affects our society against all of the cultural and social progress we've seen is the battle. I mean, to be fair, like, I did not choose any of these outfits. You know this. Can you attest to this, please? You look like you're from Topanga. Okay, well, regardless, I don't even know what that means, but, like, you know that they just, like, put you the fuck. No, in. yeah, you're a hanger. Yeah. They, they, they create what they want you yeah, to do. Yeah, they put this shit on you, and they're like, just talk, just spit. And I was just like, all right. Yeah. Battle against intellectual. I didn't write anything. I literally did not write oh. anything. Are you are you guys comfortable with that? This is a war. Like, that's me asking the person unironically, like, are you guys comfortable with this? And them using it in the edit as though I'm like saying I'm about to say something fucking crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just have all they have all creative liberty to do whatever the fuck they want with you. Anyway, let's keep going. Are you are you guys comfortable with that? This is a war against critical thinking, a battle against intellectualism. It's a war, war, war against oh. rational behavior. And we're not even aware of it. And that's terrifying. Whew. What kind of an example are we setting? The problem with America is that because of cultural imperialism, we are literally teaching the rest of the world how to think, what to wear. The Kardashians are lying to you. 
culture used to be the backbone of the resistance. All it's- It's the like shaky TikTok. Like... I didn't do any of that. Like they did that. And also not only that, but like what I'm talking about as far as like cultural imperialism is correct. So they just cut up it's... everything you're yeah, saying. Yeah, but because like... it's in a sea of like cringe shit that's been repackaged in a way to make it seem like mega cringe that they thought was fucking chill at the time. <laughs> it, it, like everybody looks at this and goes, fuck the, you, fuck you. With America is that because of cultural imperialism, we are literally teaching the rest of the world how to think, what to wear. The Kardashians are lying to you. This is just like the fucking 9-11 shit. Everybody years later, comes around to recognizing that I was fucking right, okay? One, Kardashians are lying to you. Two, two, cultural imperialism literally makes the rest of the world like us, okay? It does. Look at the fucking 313 unit. Look at the Taliban, bro. They're wearing fucking skin-tight Oakleys and like tactical gear as they're running around in the fucking Kerengal Valley. How did that happen? That happened because we left a little bit of ourselves over there, okay? That's the only fucking shit that they pick up from us is just like our consumerist culture and that is the problem. <laughs> culture used to be the backbone of the resistance. All it seeks to do is sedate the masses. Culture now seeks to appeal to our primal urges, our base needs. We're now in the age of mediocrity. You can bring about the positive change you want to see in this world because the revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. Only you can bring about the revolution by taking it to the street. Keep resisting. Billy Girl is going to be upset if we don't talk about fashion. You know what I mean? Wow. See? She liked it, to be honest. That was intense. How did you feel after you did that? I mean, when I saw it, I was like, oh God, this is like so cringe. And I never actually showed it because I was like, I never actually like shared it because I felt like it, it was embarrassing. It didn't come across like in the way that I wanted to. Um, so. Ben Cope. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Like they were trying their best. It's like, that's the reason why now I only work with like dudes that I know. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like, if a, if a journalist uh, reaches out and they're like, we want to write a puff piece, I'm like, <laughs> I, I will literally look through their work and see, like, what their point of view is, what their perspective is. What year was this? This was fucking okay, 2017. Yeah. So, full dingus year. That was, like, a time to be stupid. The fuck? Okay. Because the, I was... No, I'm saying that was the year that I did all those shitty... Followed up with the animation here. They also made this. At least this came out of it as a product. This it, is Ben Cope? No, this is some. This is Aim and Animations. Aim and Hawk. He made this uh, animation of me. And this is tight. You will like this because you like weird <laughs> shit. does that look by the way how crazy is it that this motherfucker <laughs> this is like actually pretty sick. i'm here to talk to you today about music arts fashion one of the greatest problems that our generations are facing the biggest scourge scourge that affects our society against all of the cultural and social progress we've better. seen is the battle against intellectual thought are you, are you guys comfortable with that? This is a war against critical thinking, battle against intellectualism. This is a war, war, war against rational behavior. And we're not even aware of it. And that's <laughs> terrifying. Woo. What kind of an example are we setting? The problem with America is that because of cultural imperialism, we are literally teaching the rest of the world how to think, what to wear. The Kardashians are lying to you. Making my head Culture used too. to be the yeah. backbone of the resistance. So that's the meme is that like I have a tiny head. Do I have a tiny head? Be honest. In comparison. I think it's just because your body is so infl like inflated that you looks like you have no neck and like just a tiny head. <laughs> What the f- you made that so much worse, dude! You literally made that so much worse than that had to be. <laughs> you are- oh my god, is this- is this- Roast me! I, yeah, it's because I roasted you, that's No, why. roast me! I have been with the fucking witch shit, and now you're yeah. just- Yeah. <laughs> you know, kung fu I'm back at me. I'm balancing out the energies, is what I'm doing. Yeah, I fucking hate this. But okay? is this the animator who also did those- like, no, I no. feel like I've seen his work. You before. might have seen his work, yeah. It's like me. Yeah. All it seeks to do is sedate the masses. 
culture now seeks to appeal to our primal urges, our base need. We're now in the age of mediocrity. You can bring about the positive change you want to see in this world. Because the revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. Only you can bring about the revolution by taking it to the street. Keep resisting. So the frogs are supposed to represent you fucking my chat. idiots. You absolute fucking morons. God damn it, I hate you so much when you do this shit, chat. I hate it so fucking much. You're like 12 years old. You fucking fuck! Fuck! Are you fucking brain dead? That was amazing. It's really good. When did that come out? Anyway. Sam Cedar went off on Shabibo while while he here well, he'll wear a yarmulke but not a mask. Yeah, it's it's a great dude. Do you watch other YouTubers? Yeah, all the time. Who's your like top five? I don't know. I I hate watching a lot of YouTubers. Yeah, it's Punished Bernie. Do one barrel roll. <laughs> 